What's going on, King and Queens? If you're new here, it's your boy, Preston. Welcome to Daily Bread number six, man. Number six. First and foremost, how y'all doing today? How y'all feeling today? I'm feeling amazing. I'm feeling happy. I'm feeling peaceful. And I hope y'all are too, man. Today's word is going to be, God did not let your enemy slide, man. I know a lot of y'all feel, and including me, you feel like some of your enemies got away with murder, man. They, they try to manipulate you. They try to take advantage of you. They try to be petty towards you. They try to slander your name, throw dirt in your name, destroy your character, destroy your reputation. Some of you men out there, some women out there try to emasculate you, man. And the most high let you deal with that because it made you stronger. Right? And this entire time, all you're trying to do is just be obedient to the most high. Because obedience is better than sacrifice. So y'all was just Exodus 14 and 14, man. The Lord shall fight for you. And you shall hold your peace, man. And sometimes it's just, it's frustrating just waiting on the Lord to show up because you might be waiting for a while. Let's be honest, right? But when the Lord shows up and vindicates you, when the Lord shows up and rescues you, it's going to be way better than, than a Facebook post, than an Instagram story, a Snapchat story, you trying to defend yourself, right? Right? And I want to go to this verse. <clears throat> it's a uh, second Maccabees chapter six, verse 13. For it is a token of his great goodness when wicked doers are not suffered any long time, but forthwith punished. Basically what God is saying. When he doesn't get your enemies back right away, he's waiting for a grand finale. Right. God says he'll make a table in the midst of your enemies, man. Everybody that did you wrong, they going to have to watch you eat. Everybody that lied on you, they going to have to eat their words. What does the Bible say? The Bible says that every tongue that rose against you shall be ashamed, confused, and confounded, man. People are going to be embarrassed. They're going to be embarrassed how they treated you. They're going to wish they treated you better, man, when God shows up and vindicates you. When God shows up and validates you, man. Wait on God. Don't lose hope. Don't take your eyes off God. Don't even worry about your enemies, man. To hell with your enemies. Right? When God shows up, you won't have to to do a thing when God shows up all you're going to have to do is walk right into your blessing man remember when um man I feel the Holy Spirit remember when uh Christ uh told that man to go dip in that water every year an angel came by and blessed the pond right and everybody was you know fighting to get to that blessing it was like a royal rumble match man but when Christ showed up Everybody had to watch that one man that he told to go dip in the water, get the blessing that everybody else wanted, man. Everybody had to watch him get the blessing they wanted. That's what happens when God shows up in your life, man. Everything going to be effortless and people going to watch you get it. All right, man. It's a quick word today. Just wait on God's vindication. Wait on God's strategy even. You know, sometimes he'll give you a strategy on how to move. And sometimes God will just, you know, he'll put you in a situation where you're kind of stuck. You're stagnant, right? Sometimes he'll put you in a situation where you're humiliated, right? When Christ was on the, when Christ was on the cross, man, I feel the Holy Spirit. When Christ was on the cross... Even though he was in an exalted place, even though he was in a, an elevated place, it didn't look like it. 
And when he looked down, all he seen was people that laughed at him, that mocked him, that felt sorry for him, that, that, that was grieving for him, right? He seen people that was, that just wanted him dead, man. And there was even people, well, the soldiers, they was, um, they was gambling over his garment. You got people in your life right now, man. They betting on your life. I wonder how long she going to stay in this relationship. Right? I wonder how long he going to keep this job. You got people betting on you, man. Don't lose hope. Don't give up on don't, don't give up on God. Keep your eyes on God, man. And when God shows up, man, he's going to vindicate you, man, and people going to wish they treated you better. All right? Daily bread number six, all praises to the most high Yahweh. And I hope this word bless you, man. Until next time, keep the faith. Peace.